want to do is actually have the technological, uh, technolo uh, te technological base explained and one of our core developers um, is available for that. He can explain things much better than I. Uh, Alexander, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Hi, guys. <laughs> Could you switch on your camera, maybe? Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. It's muted <laughs> off. No okay, screen. what I'm going to do, Alexander, is I'm going to do a very quick uh, overview of NXT and then turn it over to you. Does he have a light? Uh, nice. Or a candle? <laughs> <laughs> and if you can find a, a candle and maybe some more lights, uh, it turns out that you're very dark on the screen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what happens next. Um, okay. NXT. Um, NXT. Some people already knew of it. NXT is almost, uh, no, it's a bit more than a year old. Um, uh, the, uh, the publication of the source code was four days ago, a year uh, ago. We published the source code on Bitcoin's uh, birthday. Um, and I'm just going to give you a very short overview of what NXT is, what it tries to do, so you have some information to shoot at Alexander. Uh, so uh, if you have questions uh, or comments, please save them. Uh, we will ping pong maybe, maybe some things Alexander won't be able to answer, uh, more community based. Those will be go to me and all the technological ones will go to Alexander. Uh, NXT, um, differs on a few, in a few uh, ways from uh, Bitcoin. NXT, one of the things that most people know, is a proof of stake coin. It's actually uh, the first one who, go, who went completely proof of stake. Pcoin was earlier, but that's a hybrid system, had a distribution of proof of work and then went to proof of stake. NXT started out completely as proof of stake, and that means that no coins are created during uh, block creation, but People have a stake, and based on that proportional, uh, there's a calculation who can create a block and who will get the fees from the block. So there's no new coin creation, there's one billion coins, and that's it. And based on the stakes, uh, block creation is, is calculated. Um, there's a simplified transaction model, there's just send the receiver, that's it. Um, there's, we do different things with our transactions. We have several kinds of transactions. So we don't just have sent coins. We also have a colored coins kind of transaction. That's our asset exchange. Counterparty does something like this. We have it since April. And if you look, again, this, this is a controversial one. If you look at coin market cap, you will see that we have a lot. But at this moment, we have 394 assets being traded on our system. Some of those uh, are just, let's say, monopoly assets. Other ones are quite big, like Nexty, which is developing a uh, complete app, uh, messaging application on Android and iOS. You can also send messages on the blockchain, and messages is a bit of a, a confusing word because it means you can transfer data between accounts. And that's a really interesting thing because it allows decentralized applications. A thousand bytes can be sent, encrypted or unencrypted, uh, and this allows the creation of decentralized applications on our blockchain. We use an API, low level, high level. Kushti Alexander can explain more about that. And we are developing third party libraries for different languages. NXT is written in Java, but that doesn't mean that our application, of course, needs to be written in Java. Okay. Yes? Yes, you're still there, Alexander. Do you hear me well? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. It's always so nice. I like the idea I'm in a rock concert. 
Nice. My pleasure, folks. Um, there are just, uh, there are just uh, a few more things, Alexander. Uh, these are the kinds of uh, developments that we implemented in 2014. We started out as a coin. Everybody knew that in 2013, so a lot of people still say next coin. But coin is just a representation of a token that everybody knew at this moment. It's just one thing. We have data transmission, I already said messages. We have an alias system which can do the same thing as Namecoin does, a DNS system, decentralized. We have a asset exchange. We have account leasing. One of the things that people have difficulty with, you need to have an open account when you want to forge. That's our, our word for mining, to differentiate it from what Bitcoin and other proof of work does. People can lease their forging power to other accounts, so you can create pools or clusters. This allows people. Uh, this allows us to have a lot of the uh, the act, the state active. This was a, a problem we had in the start. Um, we have a, mar a, a native marketplace function integrated into our system. This means that it's possible to do escrow trades via uh, transactions. That's also a transaction type. And what was said already earlier was we now have a monetary system. I th still think myself that the word currency is much too narrow. It is a system which allows you to do tokens that can function as a currency, but once you start thinking of these things as assets and currencies, you're stuck. You can't think of anything else anymore. So I really prefer to use tokens with certain uh, characteristics. And then the world goes open and you create different applications for it. If you say currency, you're stuck in currency and the only thing you can think of is, oh, I need a coin. It's much more than that. That's, uh, this is our technology tree. I invite you all to go to nexttechnologytree.com. Uh, um, these, are, these are all the things that are planned and implemented. We have a few things, marketplace, arbitrary messaging, that's the data transfer, monetary system. All the, uh, all the grayed out ones are still in development. So there's a lot coming. <coughs> This is a use case of Freebie Service. Freebie Service is one of our first real, what I would like to call customers. This is, uh, Freebie Service is a gaming service company who is now starting to use Next for different things they do uh, in their system. And I, what I like about Next, it's modular. You, can, you have these different things and they can all mesh together into something that's different than what you have. It's larger than the sum of the parts. So they did crowdfund funding using the asset exchange. They are using the next coin for payments. They are going to create a loyalty system using the monetary system. That's a coin, but it's it is at least different from the from the external internal payments. They have an API plugin system for which users themselves can create plugins for their sites, and these are gamers and they will be rewarding and these, these are familiar systems that you can create your own thing and you can get 50% for instance for, uh, if you sell it. They are trying to, they're creating that kind of system and they are creating a system where you can have third party plugins that can go in their site. All these things work with different transactions within Next that can be combined into a larger whole. And that's me. I'm going to switch this one off, and we go to Alexander. Um, let me see. Yes, there he comes. Yeah. Okay. Isn't it too dark? It's still too dark. You are very dark. Oh. Oh. Uh, one second. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move out of shop. If anyone wants to buy the phone, I can give it to you. Now weather. Now you have back. Now you have backlighting. That doesn't help. Oh, it's even worse. Yes. But it's a nice view of your house. Uh, can you light a candle? Uh, one second. 
second. Yeah, this is uh, at least a little bit better. Um, yeah, I, ca I, I have candles around. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I want to introduce Alexander. Alexander is one of our core developers. Uh, he is, uh, he's been working on NXT since May. Uh, he goes by the online handle of Kushti. He lives in Russia, uh, has no money for lighting. <laughs> and um, He lives in Russia, he's working on his PhD in computer science at the moment and he's uh, very instrumental in, in, uh, in NXT. The, the reason why I'm also bringing him in is we see a lot of communities where uh, developers are anonymous. And we've been trying to get more and more people known because I th we think that's really important to know who <laughs> writes these things. Get closer <laughs> I don't... to your face. <laughs> okay. Who uh, has a question? Uh, about NXT, about proof of stake, anything? Or no one? <laughs> it's a very new question. Yeah, I feel sure. kind of ashamed to ask it. But uh, NXT has a limited supply. I always wonder, like you named beer coin earlier, is it an endless amount of supply? So if you just keep on staking, the number of coins will always... Or is there... Can you set a maximum to those? NXT has the maximum. Yeah, order. NXT has it, but the Bitcoin, other. I don't know if they if they have an endless supply. Maybe they don't My know. belief is that it will eventually be endlessly uh, more coins. So I'm I'm not I'm sorry for asking it because yeah I don't know about Bitcoin. Does anybody know? Yeah, Bitcoin is not capital. Uh, but can you repeat uh, the question, please? Uh, there, there, was, there was a Bitcoin related question. Well, I got I got the answer here behind me, so I got it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, please speak louder. <laughs> okay, well, I got basically uh, two questions. The first was a uh, follow up on the, the question the old man uh, asked. It was like, um, aren't you afraid that uh, in the end, NXT can be used as a store of value instead of an, uh, a medium of exchange. Store of value or a medium of exchange? Instead of a medium of exchange, because there's a limited number. Yeah. So once the, the, the price increases, people will hold them. They're not going to be anymore, so the price will go up. If, um, well, this is one of the reasons that things like monetary systems are brought in too. Because mm -hmm. there's one thing that NXT, the, what we called the coin for all these times, is it's the oil for the system. If you want to make a transaction because it's a proof of stake system, you need to spend NXT. Mm -hmm. So uh, the system in that way forces you to at least keep it liquid. But as a trading tool or as a payment tool, I don't, I don't know. Um, at this moment, I think it's rather ridiculous to try to push NXT as a payment system because Bitcoin is at the front of this and I don't see any reason to take that position yet. Well, the thing is that Bitcoin is, an, uh, is obviously a very good uh, coin and I'll uh, it. But I think that there is uh, room for improvement, especially on this uh, subject, which, which leads me to the second question which is uh, the volatility of the price. Do you see it stumbling out on a decent, proper level? Um, volatility of price? Well, <laughs> actually, it's a, it's a bit funny. If you look at, for, for instance, the coin market cap graphs, you see that NXT has, if you see it in relation to Bitcoin, it's relatively stable. There are, you, you see a lot of, this in other uh, systems. Next is kind of boring. We had two major pumps, whatever it was, in this year, I think in April and one in September, when we went up to uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh Bitcoin, 1,000 Satoshi. Normally, uh, 10,000 Satoshi. Uh, normally we are around seven, between five or seven, and that's been all year. And I think that's still a lot, that's a very, uh, by normal standards, that's very volatile still. But by 
crypto standards, that's positively boring because uh, it's, uh, yeah, we go to 61 and we go back to 60 and we go a bit to 59. It's, that's what I see. So volatility, um, the volatility that you see in compared to the dollar is often the volatility because we're still pegged to Bitcoin. So we definitely have go down in price, definitely, but uh, that's because trade is still going through Bitcoin. Well, thank you for your answer. Yeah, also for the programmer there, this candle. Uh, what do you think yourself as a programmer or a more the technical part of the, of the system, what would be the best commercial um, platform or implementation of next? The marketplace, the assets, maybe something else, drones delivering uh, packages or something like that? Did you hear the question? Hotels that open up, hotel rooms that open up your door. Uh, so sorry, boss. Can you repeat yeah. me uh, any question? Uh, the question is, what do you think is the most appropriate or the best implementation, uh, the, the way to do business with NXT? Where is it most useful? Um, most useful? Uh, I don't know. It depends uh, on the kind of uh, your startup. I work it with uh, uh, two projects. Uh, uh, Secure AE, it's uh, web uh, aware and uh, also uh, some contacts uh, on top of Est Exchange. So uh, you can uh, make uh, dividends contact uh, with Secure AE, uh, like I promised to pay some dividends, yeah, and then uh, service uh, tracks uh, whether uh, you follow your promise or not. And uh, another project is uh, smartcontact.com. Uh, it uh, uses uh, NXT messages to write uh, contacts uh, as uh, JSONs into blockchain and uh, uh, tracking updates uh, as well. Uh, so for some uh, applications, uh, messages are not right. Uh, all they need is uh, to write uh, some uh, data into public uh, verifiable persistent data store. Uh, which is an XT blockchain. Uh, for other applications, uh, um, uh, assets exchange is usable, or even, uh, for example, for crowdfunding application, uh, monetary system is the best. You can uh, make a crowdfunding with uh, Est exchange, or even maybe the marketplace, but. Uh, uh, with the monetary system, uh, it's uh, the simplest task because it's uh, it's made uh, by uh, core itself. So, uh, in the first place, uh, think about uh, uh, your business task, right? So, it would be best if it, if it serves an escrow. Uh, and and with, with business task, uh, you can uh, easily. Uh, uh, you, you can easily uh, read through documentation and uh, find uh, the answer within a day or two uh, which part of uh, NXT uh, core economy is uh, suitable for your need. And there was here a comment uh, by the, by the uh, person with the question is that, that things like escrow seem to be one of the best applications. Uh, yeah? yeah, but I'm asking him as a programmer because commercial person, like I think myself, but as a programmer, I don't know anything about programming. Yeah. So uh, sorry? Question what do you use it for? The question is aimed to you specifically as a programmer. So what as a programmer, speaking as a programmer, is your vision on that? So, uh, on the applications. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can. I think I can. Can at least um, f from my because I'm not a programmer either. But I see what what Alexander has worked on. For instance, SmartContract.com is something that's really easy on NXT. It's it's something that Ethereum is is of course working on and, and is a big hoo-ha around. There's uh, SmartContract.com already has is working on this capability via the NXT blockchain. And 
Yeah. Yeah, and it's already working. It's already working. So, <laughs> it's but not these things like data transmission and saving information on the blockchain is that's one of the, the, the things we want to do. We want to have verifiable information available to all. Yeah, us. so for instance, uh, um, uh, decentralized marketplaces, uh, escrow, usability, but also for uh, the music industry. If I upload a number on my song yeah. and I upload, upload it in the, uh, the blockchain of Next, then I can prove that, my, that it was my song at the first time. Yeah, it is definitely possible to make uh, it's things like Facton, uh, who, who try and where you can claim this is my. I thought of it first. Here it is. Yeah. That's something that's also already. I, someone on our forum wrote the same kind of concept within three hours on our forum. So it's already possible within NXT. Uploading complete music, I wouldn't advise because blockchain bloats. <laughs> you wouldn't a boom. You would as be as big as your own music catalog. But links, what people do now already on our marketplace, you have a dynamic link which you can send to people. These things are possible and are small enough not to cause bloat. It's all these data transfer and data uh, retaining. For instance, I'm been working on a game at this moment, on an MMO based on the next blockchain. And all player data will be persistent on the blockchain. Uh, people can run their own nodes, they can work, all these messages can be sent within uh, the blockchain to make it very <coughs> easy to get to the data everywhere. Even if servers go down, game will be accessible to everyone. So, and even if it goes down, you have the blockchain, so you can still check and then start it up again, and boom, presto, it's there again. He has a question. Uh, ah, yeah, already already question. Yeah. Um, my question is, actually, how are you, the core developers of NXT organized, and how open is that process? So, to point that directly, how many of you are actually working on the consensus code on any all of that uh, stuff I just saw? And how do you come to a consensus if you ever disagree on what is offered? Okay, um, could you talk about the, how you as, org, as core developers are organized, how you reach consensus between each other, how you work on the consensus method? I'll go away for a while. <laughs> uh, the question is hard for sure. Uh, consensus uh, is uh, hard in uh, any community of developers, yeah, because uh, any has uh, own opinion and uh, you know about uh, hot battles within the uh, Bitcoin developers community even about uh, 40 bytes of uh, op return uh, and uh, in NXT community uh, we also have uh, different uh, opinions uh, different <coughs> views and uh, sometimes very hot debates uh, mostly our uh, internal mail list. Uh, hopefully we have a manager now, Chuck One, and uh, he resolves uh, some uh, uh, some hot, hot debates we have. But uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you see, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, um, uh, th there is no uh, uh, there is no authority here. Yeah. So uh, if you have uh, better arguments, uh, uh, you are right. So uh, with better arguments, uh, uh, your approach will be implemented. And, uh, and uh, that, that's, that's valuable for me. And I forgot to add one question that you did ask. How open is the, how open is the group, the core developer? Transparent. You know? How transparent, but also I think you meant yeah, how... Especially, I want to know how many guys are working on the consensus code. Yeah. How, many how many people <coughs> are working on the consensus code? Uh, we have uh, about... Uh, uh, Four Java guys, uh, or maybe five, are working constantly now, and uh, also maybe five to ten uh, making uh, pull requests uh, regularly, and uh, also about 
327 UI developers working uh, regularly or not. So yeah, the, the team is pretty big now, but uh, everyone is welcomed to contribute. Is that uh, an answer? Or more? A small bit, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm getting the trouble with something well, I'm just bring it, so. I was gonna say, maybe we can point to Sebastian as a uh, next developer. <laughs> You're bringing him in trouble. Um, we had one question here. Yeah, uh, one small question. Uh, I looked at your site and uh, the voting uh, ecosystem looks very interesting. I see this feature is finished but not, yet, not implemented yet. When will it be implemented? The voting system on the blockchain, when will it be implemented? Alexander. Yeah, sorry? The voting system on the blockchain, the one you designed, when will it be implemented? Uh, yeah, it's implemented. Uh, in, it will be in uh, 1.5. Uh, we hope to release its uh, our testnet in, at the end of January. And uh, two-phase transactions uh, are also implemented and uh, hopefully will be on testnet in uh, February. Uh, maybe even uh, at the end of January as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. I have a question about facing. What are the, the most interesting use cases of facing? Question about phasing. What are the, the most interesting use cases of phasing? And for the people who don't know, what is phasing? <laughs> Uh, the phasing is a kind of uh, multi-sig transactions, uh, but uh, in NXT it's a broader concept because uh, you can uh, you can uh, watch on uh, pending transactions uh, uh, with uh, uh, your account, as in case of bitcoins. Right, and uh, also you can uh, watch with your assets or tokens uh, of monetary system. Uh, so, for example, uh, 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 asset holders uh, could watch on uh, outgoing transactions to, to be in action. So, for example, if uh, a startup uh, Raised funds on uh, NXTS exchange uh, is uh, willing to spend uh, one million for marketing or uh, to pay uh, its uh, founder. Um, it's it could be a question of uh, voting of asset holders. So it's it's not just uh, multi sig It's uh, about uh, new dimension of. Uh, NXT economy, I hope so. Yeah. How do you deal with blockchain bloat problem? Yeah. My home directory is most, mostly consists of uh, blockchain databases. Yeah. <laughs> how, how do you deal with blockchain bloat? <laughs> uh, blockchain bloat is the hardest problem uh, every coin uh, will have uh, pretty soon. And uh, there is no uh, a uh, suitable answer uh, for any coin I see around yet. I know about uh, kryptonite and uh, some white papers around uh, blockchain pruning and uh, so on, but uh, uh, there is no uh, simple uh, answer at the moment. It's uh, still, it's still an open question for every coin I know. So what do you think about uh, the nothing at stake problem of uh, proof of stake? Okay, this, this is a nice one for you. What do you think about the nothing at stake problem with proof of stake? I think this is an interesting one for you. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think it's the most uh, popular question for any proof of stake coin. Yeah, and uh, for NXT as well. And. Uh, Nothing at stake, uh, we uh, have published uh, a paper on a formal definition of this problem in uh, December because uh, prior uh, 
We uh, saw a lot of buzz around uh, this term, but uh, no any formal definition. And uh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, kind of uh, uh, forum nonsense. Uh, it was horrible. Uh, so uh, we formally defined uh, nothing at stake. And uh, we uh, make uh, simulations uh, with uh, tools uh, developed by uh, me and uh, my friends. We are acting now as a consensus research uh, mini group consisting of two members and uh, uh, making uh, thousands probably simulations uh, around uh, uh, different uh, models of proof of stake. Uh, we found uh, nothing at stake. Uh, attack is uh, possible, but only for short range. Yeah, for NXT like uh, cryptocurrency, it's uh, it's mostly about uh, 25 uh, blocks, even with a pretty big uh, amount of stake. And uh, the worst uh, thing for attacker. Uh, the attack is uh, pretty random in nature, so you can't uh, predict uh, attack result uh, uh, before you, you're starting the attack. So, um, for me, it's, it's not uh, the biggest problem around proof of stake, even. Uh, and uh, I think uh, it's uh, our problem. problem. So, Yes, we have, but uh, it could be solved uh, with the uh, uh, biggest uh, confirmations window, like uh, 25 blocks is an author, or even 20. And uh, even more, uh, this attack, in fact, uh, doesn't exist at, at the moment. As stated uh, by uh, Vitalik Buterin, and uh, uh, this statement is uh, true, um, the attack uh, will exist uh, only with uh, multiple branching forges in network, uh, even more than uh, when uh, multiple forges, uh, multiple branching forges uh, will be a significant uh, part of network. So now we have only single uh, branch forges, and uh, with single branching, uh, there is no such attack possible. So, uh, I can read, uh, wow, the, this coin is uh, vulnerable to nothing at stake. That, that's not true for now. Uh, but uh, there, is, uh, there is a reason to make uh, multiple uh, branching forging. Yeah, it uh, leads to higher fees uh, we found this with our simulations and uh, we gathered statistics and published uh, a paper on that. Uh, so, uh, in future it will be possible, but again, it's not, it's not so crucial problem. It's, it could be solved uh, for just uh, biggest uh, confirmations, even uh, with uh, uh, current implementation of proof of stake. Elga. And uh, it uh, will be solved, uh, we hope, in future. So even with uh, 10 confirmations, uh, you can forget about nothing at stake attack. I, wa I want to add a small thing to that because it's something that, that, as a community, I think this is really important. Nothing at stake attack is one of the things that, that gets mentioned a lot of for, uh, on forums and on Reddit. And that's, it's irritating, but it's not a bad thing. I really like what happened with Kushti and his, and his, his friend who started Consensus Research and actually made papers about it that people could check. It's one thing to rebut it on a forum and say, no, it can't, or to prove it mathematically. So if people want to read this material, I can give you uh, the links to all his papers. Uh, because it's good, if there's something wrong with his papers, please point it out to him and say, okay, this is wrong. So this is also for proof of stake, we need to create uh, science around it. Otherwise, it's just a nice idea. And that's not enough. Yeah, and uh, 
I and uh, we in consensus research would be happy uh, to listen to uh, any critics of uh, our work and uh, to, to know about uh, other uh, problems possible with proof of stake. So, guys, you are welcome to research. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alexander. Yeah.